Hey guys, Jason here from Brilliant Directories. Yesterday we had an amazing webinar and one of the questions that came up was from Wilf Barnes in the group. Uh, he was asking, what are some ways to kind of modify the design or look of the standard profile page that members get on the website? So we are on our webinar demo site that we use in the webinars. Um, as we can see here, we have a sample listing for this Lisa Jones person. So the profiles are set up uh, pretty simple, very similar to like a LinkedIn um, or just a simple bio of a business. Uh, we have their profile image or logo, some call to action buttons, some content that they've added to the site, including an overview tab for general information. And then on the sidebar, you can include uh, a lead form or other calls to action, social media share links, banner advertisements, uh, etc. So all in all, this is a pretty good page uh, for most business directories. It covers and checks all the boxes, uh, also very similar to a Yelp profile. Uh, but let me show you some ways using some of the point and click design settings, um, how you can modify this page. And also with just a little dash and touch of some custom CSS design, just a couple extra rules, uh, just to give it an extra uh, special touch. So let's go on into the admin area and start with uh, just the point and click design settings that we can apply to this page. And I'll keep this page open like this and we can check the before and after uh, towards the end of the video. So uh, one of the first things that I like to do uh, is actually, if you go to the design settings section, go to the member profile pages module. And one thing that I like to personally do is the profile page header. There are some options here, align with the sidebar, which it currently is, or make the header uh, full width. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like right now. And I'll open this in a new tab. Perfect. So what we can see now is the sidebar has actually aligned itself with the content, the tab sections below. So um, we get a slightly bigger profile photo in this case because we can see it's extending all the way left to right. Uh, the call to action buttons are slightly larger uh, as well. Uh, so it just creates a, a better showcase in some cases. Uh, also the badge icon, uh, this is a verified member. So we can see that a little larger as uh, instead of being smushed because the sidebar is uh, taking up some of the width space here. Uh, so this is one thing you can do right off the bat. Uh, and again, that setting was profile page header, set that to full width. Uh, another thing uh, that you could choose to do is remove the sidebar altogether. If you're satisfied with the call to action buttons here at the top um, and you don't really have anything else you need to display in the sidebar, uh, you can totally do away with that. In this example, let's go ahead and do that. I think in most cases, people will keep the sidebar because it is a nice place to drop extra calls to action, banner ads, re uh, related links, and so forth. Uh, but just because we're demonstrating ways to kind of uh, change up uh, the profile, let's remove that. We can go to uh, sidebar alignment and we can look at member profile pages and we'll just say do not display and we'll hit save changes. And what that's gonna do is now it's really just gonna open up the page. It's really a bio page about this person or this business. Uh, we're kind of removing all extra of the website stuff uh, on the page. Another thing I like to do uh, is allowing the images to add a profile cover image. Uh, this is one of the add-ons with BD. Let me just share with you where that is. If you come to the Brilliant Directory site, uh, go to the add-ons in the main menu and search for cover. It is the profile cover photo image and it allows the image to have a representative image uh, similar to how you have on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, so we've given this member access to do that. Let's log in as the member and actually choose an image to upload. And we'll go to the profile photo section. So they have their profile photo and here is the profile cover photo. And let's choose one to upload. Uh, generally, it's a horizontal image. Um, I have one here. Just a picture, modern picture of a home. Now, this could be, this could have text in it, you know, calls to action, like call our business. It could have their phone number in it. So uh, the members can get pretty creative as to what they want uh, in this. Um, in this case, we'll just use a simple photo of a modern home on a lake and we'll upload that. But this basically can become a billboard at the top of the member's profile page. So um, let's refresh here. Let's go back to her profile. 
Okay, great. So this is kind of where we're at right now. And this is where we were before. So we could see kind of uh, the aesthetic differences. Um, again, one kind of more hyper focuses on like a bio page for the business or or the member, and one of them feels more like uh, more like a listing or a profile um, that you would normally see on again like a LinkedIn or a Yelp. Uh, but again, just depending on your audience and the aesthetic you're looking for, these are just a couple things you can do with the point and click settings. Now, let's kick it up a notch, I'm going to do a little bit of custom CSS, uh, just a few rules and see if we can just modify this a bit more to add a little bit more of a personal touch. Let's really make this uh, kind of uh, look a little bit more different than what the original was over here. So I'm gonna do some stuff here just really quickly and I'll share anything I'm doing uh, in the comments of this post uh, with this video here. So. Uh, let me just see how quickly I can do a few things here. And we're going to uh, do a margin top on this. Let's actually push our profile photo and section up into that uh, the cover photo image. We're going to do a margin top, let's say maybe minus 100. So that's looking good. Um, now we just need a little bit of contrast color so we can read the text uh, here. So we'll add a background to it. And what we'll do actually is um, I would recommend using the same background as your site. So let me just grab this. There we go. Uh, now it looks a little seamless. And we're going to add a little bit of opacity so you can still see the profile image behind it there. Just like that. Perfect. OK, let's add a little padding to this cell. Uh, 20 was good. And let's actually move it up just a bit more. We'll do 110. All right, so let's just close that. Let me just save this here, this little bit that I did here. I'll put this in a little document. I was working on this before, so I'll just save that there. Let's take a look at this now. So we can see here now her profile photo is now part, kind of part of the cover image uh, that's here. And there is still one more thing we can do. So let me add this piece of code into the uh, design settings, custom CSS. We don't need any of this. Just put this at the top here. And again, that background color, we want it to, in my opinion, match the background color of your existing site. So we'll go ahead and refresh this page. Perfect. So uh, they've got the cover image. Uh, it's kind of slightly up there. We can even do one more thing if we want. We can kind of lift the actual profile photo itself just to play around with this a bit more. Uh, let's add another margin top here. And we can maybe even have that kind of centered with their name right there. And let's have a little more fun with that. We'll add a border to this, uh, maybe five pixels solid, and we'll make it, uh, we can make it white. And lastly, just want to add a little drop shadow to that. Let me grab a little drop, drop shadow code here. And again, I'll share some of this with you guys. So those of you who want to copy and paste, you certainly can. So we'll do a little box shadow here. Okay, great. Um, so let's copy this into our CSS area. Perfect. So basically two rules here and let's save the changes. Perfect. And let's refresh the page. Now I've seen some people do some other things. Uh, for example, it's kind of centering uh, everything on, right behind the the, uh, the cover image. So the profile photo gets centered uh, and kind of gets aligned in between some of these things. Those those things are all possible. It just requires a little bit more hand-holding with, uh, with the custom tweaks there. Um, but just very quickly, we use, we've used uh, some point-and-click design settings uh, and just a tad bit of the custom CSS that we definitely have the possibility to paste into the additional CSS here. These are design rules. And let's compare it again to the, uh, the original profile page. We can see here we have a slightly larger uh, profile photo uh, showcased. Um, the cover image is just super awesome. 
because uh, it allows the member to add that personal touch to their page. And then we've moved uh, moved things up with a negative margin top. That was the custom style uh, to kind of give a little bit more of layering effects uh, on the profile page, a little bit more depth and movement uh, and making it a little, a little bit more uh, interesting. Now there is one more thing we can do here, and I've seen a lot of websites do this, They're especially for their premium or top tiered uh, membership plans. Uh, they actually remove the website header and footer uh, from the page. So it really feels like this page is just strictly a bio about this person or this business. So um, I don't recommend everyone do this part, but uh, depending on what you're offering to your members and, and how you're kind of structuring the model of your website, uh, just know that you have this in your back pocket. Uh, so if we go to membership plans, and I believe this member is a premium plan, premium paid plan, membership plan. So let's look for that. Here we go. Let's edit this membership plan. And there is an option, and perhaps maybe you can just remove the header and not the footer or vice versa. If we go to profile page and scroll down just a bit, there's an option to hide website header and hide website footer. Go ahead and save those changes. Uh, so when we do this, uh, we can refresh the page. And now we can see that the header is gone. We still have breadcrumbs up here. So as far as a user's perspective, um, they could navigate back to the search results page uh, or back to the home page of the website. You could also remove the breadcrumbs altogether if you really just want to make this a solid bio about uh, the business. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there's a few other tips and tricks you can do around that, uh, but this kind of just gives you an idea of how we can make uh, the profile page uh, a bit more curated uh, compared to kind of what uh, the boilerplate one comes out. I'm very happy uh, with this for a majority of websites, especially local business directories. Uh, they want that Yelp-like feel, which is very direct. Logo, business phone number, contact me, it's all right here, and the lead form is prominent. However, if you're maybe an artist directory or you know, you're know you showcasing something else uh, or another niche or market, uh, something like this uh, could work for you um, as well. Uh, so I'll stop the video there. I will include the custom bit of CSS uh, that I added to the page. Ah, there is one thing that I wanna do. I wanna make sure how this looks on mobile. So let me just do a quick mobile view on the browser here. Okay, so this looks fine because I think I want to do something where the design rules that I created don't apply, but actually things are looking okay here. I just see that the uh, the profile photo is kind of getting in the way of the breadcrumbs at the top there. Uh, you know, more or less, this is actually looking not too bad. So I'll just leave this like this because it's just a quick example uh, for you guys on the direction that you can take your profile pages. And then of course, um, you can always email into the BD support team. We'll try to guide you on some basic and simple uh, ways you can customize if possible. Um, we won't get too complicated in those support tickets, but if you're looking for more comprehensive design or styling to your sites, uh, you can always go to marketplace.brilliantdirectories.com and hire and work with a certified uh, BD expert. Uh, these guys are great. Pro tip, keep your project scopes small and simple, especially when starting out. This sets everybody up for a win. Uh, so maybe start with smaller requests and asks, build a relationship, um, communicate good communication relationship with that developer and set everyone up for a win. So I hope you guys found this video uh, helpful. Uh, just a quick way we can modify the member profile pages, uh, both with some of the point and click settings and just with a touch of custom design, which is available to you guys. You guys have access to that, whether you know how to do it yourself or working with a developer. Um, anyways, uh, I'll share this in the Facebook group and leave comments below and let us know what you think. Cheers.